Hey, what's up everybody? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use FTP to upload files to your website. The first thing we gotta do is download an FTP client. Uh, there are so many out there, but the one that I've used for many years is FileZilla, and that's the one we're gonna use for this tutorial. Um, and another thing I wanna clarify, um, I know that FTP is not the most modern way to publish a site or an application, uh, but the reason why I chose it is because it's still widely used. It's available on many platforms. Uh, and it's sort of the standard um, for transferring files. I mean, the, the name says it all, File Transfer P Protocol. Uh, so I just wanted to get that, you know, make that clarification here. Uh, we're not going for the most modern, most efficient way of publishing a site or of an application, but I just want to give you the gist of how you can transfer files. Uh, the other thing that we are going to use uh, to be able to show the whole preview of how things work is paid hosting for your site and it could be on Amazon Web Services or it could be on Azure which is what we're going to be using today or it, or it could be any other hosting provider out there. There's a million of them out there. Uh, but for this example, let's just let's stick to Azure. I already have a website set up on Microsoft Azure using App Services, and this is what it looks like when you haven't published anything on there. This is just a placeholder, uh, letting the developer know that you still haven't published anything. But as you can see, that environment is already set up for you to start putting your content on there, whether it's just a simple static website like we're going to be doing in this tutorial, or if it's a full blown application, or maybe it's just the back end to your um, application and you might have your front end um, on a different spa, or you might have a mobile application that you're that you're using for this but just for this example it's just a simple static HTML page that I created um, just to show you how you can transfer the files from your computer over to the internet and have your content be accessible by pretty much essentially the world. Okay, so let me show you the website that I created. It's not really a website, it's just a simple HTML page. As you can see, the only thing that I actually did was I created this div and I embedded one of my uh, YouTube videos on here just so we can see that we actually do have some content there. I also created, just to kind of give you the sense that you can generate different directories here if you want to include additional CSS or if you want to include images and you want to get more intricate on your on your website design. So this is sort of giving you an empty um, structure for a, a full-blown website if you were going to do that. So just to kind of give you the, the feeling that you're publishing a full-blown website, I didn't want to spend too much time creating a full website for this example because the gist of it is to show you how to transfer files using file transfer protocol. Let's go ahead and fire up FileZilla, assuming that you already downloaded it and installed it. This is pretty much what it looks like once you open FileZilla. You are going to need some things from your hosting provider. In this case, as I mentioned earlier, I'm using Azure. These are the three pieces of information you're going to need. You're going to need the host name, pretty much the server where your files are going to be hosted. You are also going to need your username and obviously your password. So this is how these come into play. For now, we're just gonna establish a connection here. There is a way that you can save the connections for later use. Uh, but for this example, let's just stick to creating one connection. We're gonna paste the host onto that window. We are also going to paste the username and we're going to paste the password. You don't need to worry about the port number. Usually it's set to 22 um, or I believe 23 in some cases, but Microsoft Azure is using the default, so we don't have to worry about that. So let's click on Quick Connect. Since this is the first time I'm connecting to the server, it's asking me if it's okay for FileZilla to trust the certificate. And we're just gonna go ahead and click yes. Okay, now you're officially connected to the remote server. Um, these are the files that you have access to on that server. This is where your website is. 
You can store deployments here for historical purposes in case you deploy something and you want to undo the changes, you can do it here. And it's also used for other methods of publishing your, your website or your application. But in the past, I have used it just to keep a record of what has been deployed earlier. So that way I can go back. So sort of use it as a way to fall back in case something goes wrong. But this is where you're going to be displaying your website. Um, as you can see here, by default, Microsoft puts a file here just to let you know um, that the website or the environment is up and running. And, and that's where we're getting this from. This is actually the content of that hosting start file. Next step, here's where things get fun. Let's go ahead and get rid of this file here. We don't want it. Let's publish our website. So you can select everything, control all. And all you got to do is drag it over. And then here, oh, that was pretty fast. But see here, it gives you some kind of log of the files that were uploaded. So if we go back to this site and refresh, Now you're getting the content um, that I put on the HTML file. This is what it looks like being viewed from my file system. This is using the website where we publish to. Um, so let's, let's go make a small change just to show you that how easily you can update a website once you're I don't know, maybe doing work for a client. So let's go back to Visual Studio. Let's make a small change here. And I just said, visit our YouTube channel. Okay, so now we save that file. If we upload this file again, notice that the session's still open. All I gotta do is drag it. It's gonna prompt if you wanna overwrite, you're gonna say yes. You can also double click. If you double click, FileZilla knows that you want to upload that file uh, to your remote directory and you just click okay. So now if we refresh, we refresh the website, we should be able to uh, reflect that change. See, so now you can see that additional content that we just added. Okay, there's one more feature that I wanted to show you. Um, I mentioned earlier that you can go here and you can um, store a connection so that way you don't have to be uh, cutting and pasting in this section up here. The way to do it is to go to new site you put your host here, just like we did up there. Um, you set your logon type to normal. You paste your username and password and click connect. You're gonna have to rename it or give it a name. And the next time you wanna connect to that specific server, all you gotta do is select it from this list as opposed to starting from scratch. Okay, I hope this was very useful to you and if you like the video, please hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for more tutorials. Thank you.